Hi Aries, welcome to your daily bonus reading. I hope all of you are fantastic. I'm just showing you the energies here going on. We have Mercury in retrograde squared off 90 degrees to Pluto and Aquarius. So Pluto and Aquarius is major transformation and change. Um, big disruptions, uh, kind of a destructive energy amongst a large network or large group big collective is resistant to this mercury in retrograde in the first house. I feel like so a resistant 90 degree angle means it's not going to really occur. So if there is something that happened or was said or was delayed for you at this time with mercury in retrograde, it's because you're not it's not meant to go out to lots of people it's not meant to be seen it's not meant to go out because of this pluto effect on the network so this rejection is protection if there's anything that you're being rejected from because of this mercury in retrograde or because of this communication that feels personal um it's just, it's not meant to go viral. It's not meant to reach a large amount because it could have some kind of effect. So you're being like protected. Okay, so I just uh, got three cards. I got the garden and the gate, storm warning, and walking away. So there's something here you're leaving behind you that it could be something that causes drama in your life. Um, the storm warning is usually something about some kind of challenge that you could be going through. Second chakra. Social and creative. We have the fifth chakra. Archangel Gabriel throat chakra activation. You could have a very important message. We have the angel of balance. We have the woman holding a coin. And we have seventh chakra. Connect into your angels, guys. Um, higher self. Don't connect into some kind of... Um, some kind of energy that would be uh, 3D people competing something in your life don't allow yourself to get sucked in uh, rise above this energy mercury retrograde in the first house could feel personal um, maybe you can tell yourself it's not personal Um, Mercury retrograde is like a delay, a misunderstanding, a challenge in things that are said to people, an email that's not received. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see what we get here for you, Aries, for your bonus read. The strength card. Something is a test of your strength. Having to tame the inner lion. Five of cups. Feeling disappointed about something. Four of wands. Stability. A relationship. Something you've achieved. Okay, we have the lovers here, reconciliations. We have the justice, correction, something is coming into alignment. We have the king of swords, a decision is being made. Communication is coming in for you that's very straightforward. You are the emperor. The sun. Seems like some pretty good news here. Ooh, you're afraid of the devil. 
toxic energy. You get the Hierophant. So something is being decided in a favorable way for you. Ten of Swords is on the bottom. This cycle is closing out. Whatever, whatever kind of stressful cycle this could be, a decision is being made, possibly by someone who is in charge of information, signing off contracts, signing off documents. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The sun is around. Very happy. Very joyful. King of the water. Someone with deep compassion. There is still this energy of... So I got these two together. Not responding. Or... There's something about not responding or you didn't get any information and this Queen of Swords comes in with the information, but it comes out with a Nine of Cups. So you will be very happy about this situation. Um, maybe it's a decision made that's favorable for you in, in court or... Um, you want something to be made fair in your life. The Hierophant is really about mercy, merciful, um, ethical, <coughs> ethical decisions, mercy, following rules and regulations that apply to everybody. What is this... Um, your life is coming into balance. Now, the sun is shining on the environment. What is the sun? The hermit. There's a discovery. Somebody is bringing the lamp and showing what they've discovered. Um, personal discovery. What is? Why are you the emperor? Why is Aries owning their power? Strong, powerful feelings. New powerful feelings. What is the Queen of Swords? Who is giving this information? Chariot. Determined to go forward. It's great success. Uh, someone's telling you um, some information they see clearly. You're very determined to succeed. What is the chariot? Or, I mean, what is justice here? The Empress and the Judgment. So we have here a rev a reckon some kind of renewal, revolution, uh, something that's brought back up to life, resurrected. Um, it is a calling. It could be your angelic protection over your life. Um, okay, so the Hierophant is a decision made that is fair and ethical. Now you're afraid of the devil. So there's something where you are worried or concerned about toxic people, toxic situations, negative energies, um, maybe limitations on your freedom. Um, there is somebody here who's showing you a lot of compassion with the King of Water. They're taking action on how they feel. And there's an energy here of somebody shining the lamp. What they've discovered anchor which is about staying calm show us what's going on for Aries here fate the stars are coming into are aligned okay, we get the compass and we also have accepting the rose. So there could be something that is offered to you and you're accepting it. Something's being cut away. The card of harvest. You've got unconditional love and support. 
Uh, now, it looks like here there was some hidden discipline, some hidden strict energy, but we do have like this Ten of Cups, unconditional love and support, and then we have here the party, the celebration, the good times. Um, okay, so show us here for Aries. Oh, your deepest wish again. So we have the wishing well, your deepest wish. Bottom of the deck, the thief. So something could be exposed about something that was taken from you or not given to you um, because the justice is there so it means oh look everlasting commitment the house the bouquet of flowers this could be some oh and the soulmate a choice and luck is on your side okay let's see what else we get for aries You're going to be very satisfied, like uh, it's the genie granting the wish with his arms crossed there, sitting in front of the cups, and you do get this cup, so this could have been something you thought was never going to come in, like eight of cups is like feeling like you're going to leave or quit or abandon something because it's never going to pan out, but then you get this ace of cups coming from a king of swords so you they tell you they uh i doubt they write you a letter it's probably more immediate than that they tell you some way financial constraints okay the storm warning the garden and the gate which is caution being very cautious knowing that something's there but not necessarily going out and oh there's a man holding a coin um, show us here for uh, Aries fourth chakra healing your heart Fifth chakra, a very important message. Rest. The goddess of the moon, trusting your intuition. Social, creative, door to spirit. And one door closes, many doors open. Adjacent possibilities. Um, some kind of like side hustle maybe the angel of love going on a journey and a contract so on your mind is this justice which could be a contract because it comes in with the empress and I forget what else was with it oh the judgment your energy is strong you're owning your power you accept this cup all right, Aries, this is your reading. Thank you. I'll see you next time.